have Jesse Lawless, another one of Mythbusters Junior Kids, and I'm super excited to be interviewing him today. Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. It's really nice to finally meet you in person, and before our viewers, a lot of them probably don't know you, so could you introduce yourself? I am Jesse Lawless, I'm 15 years old, and I'm a builder, welder, and fabricator. Alright, so, and I also know that you have a big interest in building, like, cars and stuff, so, like, what have you all built? So far, I've built, uh, I've actually built, like, a lot of things, um, but my main, uh, projects I built when I was 12, um, I built a custom mini chopper, it's basically like a mini motorcycle, and, um, I posted a YouTube video about that, and it blew up, went viral, that's actually how, um, the production company of the Science Channel and Discovery actually found me, and, um, Something, well, okay, and then I built a uh, go-kart out of a shopping cart, um, and I've been helping di my dad, like, for years just with cars. Uh, I actually helped him build his own car, and now I'm actually working on my own car, which is, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that does sound pretty cool. So, how does it feel to be an actual Mythbuster? Um, I've been watching Mythbusters, like, all my life with my parents since I was little, sitting down on the couch uh, late at night, and now to actually be on the show, it's like, it, it still feels like a dream. <laughs> I can only imagine, because it must be like really awesome. So, I've asked if only a few of them this, but if you had to choose one of the kids, who would be your favorite? <laughs> oh, I hope none of them see this. <laughs> well, I'd want to say my favorite would have to be Cannon. My, definitely Cannon. Cannon's always funny. He's he's just, I mean, he's just Cannon. You would have to meet him to understand. And there's another question that I've asked every single one so far. How scared of you of Google, how scared are you of googly eyes now? <laughs> it's a good question. Um, I used to think of googly eyes as a fun, playful toy or something like from preschool. Now, uh, after seeing Elijah walk around with them on his eyelids, and I, one time I opened the toilet and um, to, to do the business, and there's literally googly eyes on the toilet seat, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so they're, uh, <laughs> they're a little weird now, every time I think of googly eyes. <laughs> every, every single person has a reference to the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're all over. Light switches, toilets, uh, cups. There was, we were just signing autographs and there was some on the Sharpies. They're everywhere. There was one in my hair just a second ago. I had to take it out. <laughs> oh yeah, I had to try to compose myself, okay. All right, so I know you can't talk much about the show, but like, what is your favorite myth and one of you, the favorite things that you did on the show? My favorite myth would have to be the duct tape tire myth. Um, it was actually Cannon's first time driving a car, and every time we would like take off, he would press the gas and then get scared and press the brake, and we'd be going forward. I mean forward and backwards and forwards. And um, then me and Rachel had this like bucket of water to see how much water we would actually um, lose from the amount of bumps. But honestly, we just got soaked because of Cannon's driving skills. No offense, Cannon. <laughs> But, um, and then my favorite, uh, what was the other question? And then look, what was one of the favorite things you did on the myth? Like, on, well, not on the myth, but on the show. Favorite thing I did on the show was, um, <laughs> I have two answers to this question. One was chicken bowling. We had a bunch of rubber chickens out that came from nowhere. And we just stacked them up as bowling pins and started bowling with them. And uh, another one was uh, I had to weld a gigantic domino for this one myth, and that was uh, that was pretty cool. That does sound pretty cool. Um, let's see. So, with being a MythBuster, have you like been like more recognized, or does it like, or does it feel like, kind of the same? Has it not really changed? Uh, I, being a MythBuster, um, I feel the same as a person. But um, I've started to gain followers on uh, social media, um, recognition around here. I've never actually had someone come up to me and be like, oh, my God, you're the kid from that show. It's like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it, was just, it was just cool. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really awesome. So thank you so much for letting me interview you.
right, so I have even another Mythbusters Junior kid. This is Jesse Lawless, uh, and I'm going to be interviewing him at Maker Fair. I will get it done someday. All right, so here is Jesse Lawless, another one of the Mythbusters Junior kids. Uh,